Okay, my, my greatest influence in my work in art, obviously, when you live in an environment like uh, North America, uh, you start discovering things to, to grow in your own way. And then, for instance, the, the best bunch of painters at that time was the School of New York, especially with the Rocco to the head. And, and then in, uh, in, uh, in Canada, I discovered uh, uh, the School of Montreal. I don't remember exactly the names, but they were very important. And, and then from uh, Europe, uh, as we know, a few painters or artists, Miro, Picasso, uh, Dali, and you, you keep naming them. You, you always get influence. And that's good to have some influence because it reaches you. It, 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 it's important to, for your own growth to have influence. And then you discover later on your own language, your own statements to do. And that's, that's art, is to learn from each other. Uh, and that's what we call the influence. And, and that's good for us. Well, I guess in Spain, there's a one specific painter they call Barcelo. He's a, a contemporary painter, maybe in his 60s. And that's a wonderful painter. And, uh, you know, and there's so many names. Uh, I, I can't remember now, but they are incredible artists. Uh, but my favorite one is, is that one, uh, Barcelona. I have two or three artists in, in my own way to appreciate them in my country. Is Tavaro, a wonderful painter, uh, Maldonado, uh, uh, Cauja is another sculptor. Uh, and then uh, there's minor painters too, but you know, the most important of them. Art is like magic. It takes you away from this reality. <laughs>